like this. So, <laughs> you know, sometimes you might want to predict the move of the Holy Ghost. But I want to tell you every instruction here, God tell me, go, I will tell you what to do. Amen. 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 We are following the Holy Spirit. Amen. We don't have much time because I know we have been drinking already. Are you, are you, is your soul being satisfied? Yes. Yes. Is your soul, let's be honest with God, is your soul being satisfied? Yes. 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 Are you glad you are here today? Yes. You have no regret you are here today. Yes. Has it been good, been useful for Amen. you? Yes. That you are here today. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. What a privilege. Thank you, Jesus. Leaning on the everlasting Amen. arms of yeah. God. Hallelujah. Lord. Very, very quickly. I want somebody to open our Bibles to Revelations chapter 3, verse 20. And read it for me. Revelations 3, 20, please. Behold, I stand at the, at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him. And he with me. Amen. 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 Jesus says, I'm standing at the door of your heart, of your life. We want to go forward. <coughs> God wants us to go forward. But Jesus he said, I myself want to make progress into your life. I'm standing at the door of your life, of your heart. And I'm knocking. There are areas I want to come in that you closed. There are places you're not giving me access. You're using your own mind, your own initiative, your own wisdom. Jesus says, behold, I stand at the door of that place and I'm knocking. If you open for me, I will come in. And what will I do? I will fellowship with you. I will serve with you. In fact, when he comes, he comes with the Father, he comes with the Holy Spirit, and he comes with his legions of angels. So, before we go to part two of we are making progress or we are going forward, for God to open door for, door for us, Jesus said, do you know Jesus need an open door? Yes. Hallelujah. He's standing at the door of our nations. He's standing at the door of our neighborhoods. He's standing at the door of the family you married into that man. He's standing at the door of the family you came from. Nobody has opened for you. They've always been closed to him. You are in that family. You are a member of that family. If you open the door, I will go. And when Jesus comes in, ancestral bondage is with God. Amen? Yes. John chapter 1, verse 5. John chapter 1, verse 5. Yes. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended not. Amen. Amen. The light shines in who is the light? Jesus is the light of the world. He says the light shines when Jesus is the light. Where darkness is doing chakarasi, we are judge. We can have our way. We have been controlling this town, this village. Who are you? When you have opened the door for Jesus, when he comes in because he is the light of the world, he says when light comes in, darkness gives you. Amen. Amen. You begin to see ancestral yokes and bondages in your family. Amen. But how do we open the door for Jesus? To be born again, yes. God wants us to be humble. Be obedient to the word of God. You know you are now a child. You know you can have a disobedient child. He's your child. And people have a proverb say, bad bush. Not day for to away bad king. There is no bad bush. You say this child is bad. Let's go and throw the child in a bad bush. It's your child. 
It's a bad child that needs to be a good child. So some of us, we are children of God. Only God knows the category. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. But before we leave here today, we will enter into a new register. The register of the favor of God. God loves everybody. But God does not favor everybody. God does not favor everybody. Because you will not have favor with me if you're always upsetting me. Is it possible? You're always, you know, if I have to, because maybe you're my husband or my in-law, you know, I have to. But there's, there's a limit to what I will go. Am I talking the truth or? Yes. yes. But when you are in my good books, I can do over. I can even bend over my own. That is favor. We are God's children. Jesus says, there are areas of your life I want to be in charge. I want light to dominate. Yes. Because there are those small, small things in our lives that we are really attached to. One of the darkness is fear. Mm -hmm. But we don't know that fear is sin. Another one is doubt. Mm -hmm. One, anxiety, mm -hmm. prayerlessness, mm -hmm. spiritual laziness. Some of us, we keep malice with God only when we have a problem with God. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus is in the house. <laughs> we keep malice with God. <laughs> we using God like sugar daddy. Say, ah, we need to. <laughs> we need to. <laughs> we need to. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God is not sugar daddy. God is not a safe relationship. A love of fellowship. It's not ATM machine, you go in punch. Bring money. And after I finish, bye bye. When you need money back, you go to the machine. You punch, punch, punch. Even that money, you have to, you have to have something inside. You have to have something inside because uh, it, won't come out. it won't come out. And you will run into. Uh -huh. So you have to have something inside. So the first thing I want us to know in going forward. Is to allow Jesus to go forward in our lives. Achieve the limits we ourselves have put on God or allow the enemy to put on God. This is the Say, Oh Lord, help me. Help me. Empower me. Empower me. By your grace and your mercy. To remove every obstacle. To your full control in my life. Say Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, take over my life. Take over my life. Overtake my life. Overtake my life. Fill me to overflowing. Fill me to overflowing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now go to Revelation chapter three, verse eight. The love of God is about to do something with us. You know what? When the Holy Spirit comes in you, when He drives you, when you are going full force, it's unstoppable. Verse eight, please. He'll be very loud like an evangelist. I know thy works. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast, little, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Amen. 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 He says, You have kept my word, and you have not denied my name. Amen. I have opened the door for you. Mm -hmm. But the problem, you have little strength to go. That is why when Jesus comes in, the Lord is my strength and my son. He is our strength. In those areas that, you know, sometimes, you know, motivational speaking is good. <laughs> but motivational speaking is good for somebody who is not under spiritual attack. <laughs> because it will seem as if you are stupid, or you don't know how to, your CV, you don't know how to do CV. There are some people who have the best CV in the world. It's not that they don't want to work. It's not that they don't qualify. So on the motivation and speaking, you aspire to do it. But when you go there, you hit a brick wall. Invisible. You feel the visible block. You feel it. There's a resistance. That is why you need the strength of God to push that barricade. 
That is why you need the power of the Holy Ghost to bulldoze the obstacle. Because most times they're spiritual. Mm -hmm. It's not that you don't have to get up in the morning to get up to go and do work. And you want to do it. But there is something that is blocking you. It is holding you down. If you want to read your Bible, you love the Lord. You are beautiful. Desire to be the husband's life, your house. You want to marry house. You want to. You want to keep a home. But there's a spiritual force that says marriage is not last. Because uh, you no, that's yours. But you need strength to be able to enjoy it, to go through. Some of us who have been battled, who have been battled, the enemies of our open door. <laughs> want to play against the enemies of our open door. The enemies of our break. Whether you believe it or not, they are enemies. No. Apostle Paul said, a great door, an effectual, is open, it's not closed, is open unto me. But, there are many, me, not even few, many adversaries. So if you think that when doors open for you, you will be getting complete. You are in cuckoo land. Yeah. Yeah. You better come to the land of reality yeah, exactly. and wake up. Mm -hmm. The fact mm -hmm. that you have a star, mm -hmm. God has written great things concerning you. The fact you managed to know to know A from B. Mm -hmm. yeah. That you are even able to read to spend your day. Do you know some powers are angry from your father's village, your mother's village? Mm -hmm. That how can you know how to read and write? Mm -hmm. yeah. When, uh -huh, how come you're in England? You, like you ride the plane. Yeah. When they have to drive witchcraft plane, for example. It's true. The other thing I do, these are the things that yeah. it is ridiculous to think what the enemy is angry about in our lives. It is very ridiculous. It's, it's, sometimes it's unbelievable. It is sometimes unthinkable. But it is true. When you go to the cover meetings, you've got to put your ears and speech, hey, her son has just come back as if he's the only one. He's intimidating. Do you know how what happened physically in the physical? That's how people speak to See how they pound sometimes in fury? Mm -hmm. See how they pound sometimes, gentlemen? Mm -hmm. That's what they do in the spirit camp. They accuse you. Mm -hmm. And can you see within days over 125,000 support against us? Mm -hmm. yes. We have, mm -hmm. since November ending, we have a petition that should be signed mm -hmm. when they are banning the Lord's yes. Prayer. In cinemas, Odeon cinema, and they're chain cinemas. And the, the Christian Alliance, People Alliance, are calling for Christians to sign petition. It's not even up to 500 since November 27. Something is wrong with us. And the land we are, the voice of the people is where the power is. And if we sit down here and we pray, faith without works. If I have my way, I will go from all these so-called super mega churches. Take one hour. Everybody sign on before we leave the church. If Ashim Olowo does it, Winners does it. Within oh, yeah. one week. In fact, the government will have a ridiculous number of they will say, you know what? We need to summon an urgent meeting. This is yours. The 18th of December that they're going to show that thing. They're asking that Christians should come out and protest outside those cinemas. How many people? They don't care because it does not affect our money, it does not affect our physical need. But what we are failing to realize is the future of our children. Yes. Yes. Because if they succeed in this one, do you see the pressure? BBC did not want to drop the guy. They were protesting, they were defending him up to last minute. Because the rule of the land is when you hit 100,000 or whatever they're about, the government is has a mandatory action to take. Yes. If you can get such a number of people, they have to listen. Mm -hmm. Even to when they were up to 90,000 petitions, the, the sports council was still saying it's his personal view. But when he hits the number, and these people full time, some of them, they don't sleep. They register their children. They, they are on it too for seven. It's eating them like cancer mm -hmm. to hear the word of truth. Mm -hmm. To hear them, to see the light. 
they love darkness. Why do you say men love darkness? Mm -hmm. But we are comfortable. Even the issue of Tyson Fury. I'm thinking I should have seen a counter petition from the so called Christian bodies. Mm -hmm. It's not your husband, it's not your brother, it's not your child, so nobody is concerned. May God deliver us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if it was one African woman, so trust me. Uh -uh. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? If it was the son of one African woman like me, who would have moved mountains, things and wires, something would have happened. It is true. If it's your son, you would have done, uh -uh. by now, protests would have reached parliament. Every kind of thing, from America, every, everywhere, we will lobby. From every group, we will influence every other religion because they are attacking religious faith. That is how I see it. But nobody cares. And that's why they don't say, well, you mind, don't mind those Christians. They can't do anything. Where is our voice? Enemy of the light. Enemy of our faith. So today we are going to pray. Very briefly, we've been praying. We've been praying. That the enemies of our breakthrough will be disgraced in Jesus' name. Amen. Very briefly. Some of the enemies of our breakthrough. Number one, Matthew chapter 10, verse 36. Somebody please read it. That is the best place to start. That is where we are going to start to pray today. Matthew 10, 36, please. And a man's foes will be those of his own household. A man's foes shall be? Those of his own household. That is those that all of us, when we come, we love people like this. We're in the same house. It's not from outside. All of us that are inside here. So don't go looking outside. The same house. Ah. In Jesus' name, you will not be looking at it. Enemies, when you want to look for your enemy, don't go and look in your name is Jones. Don't go and look in the Kamala family. Look in the Jones family. Look in the house. A man's foes. We start from within. Your village. Don't go to the next village. Don't say it's Abadin. People from Abadin. If you are from Richard, start from Richard. It's true, that's what Jesus is saying. It's not the family of your husband. That no. one is a byproduct. Yes. In fact, the power that push you to marry to a troublesome family is the first one you have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> that handed you over, saying, so, you know, this one will stop here. We want you to deal with her very well. Deal with it very well. So just, they, you don't know they organize it. They do. They send your destiny over. That's how we read in that Revelation 18. That Babylon woman. He said they trade in gold, silver, and then the souls of men, the destinies of human beings. They use it to do business. Even in the medical field, there are some wicked doctors that do it with ethnic minorities. They'll kill somebody because they need the person's heart or kidney or liver to give to a so-called person. Yeah, they do it. But God begin to expose all of them. Yeah. Because they know black people will not press charges to go and find out what happened. When they have Mr. So and so doctors that need some a heart, they just give wrong this and that and they cover each other because most of them are in the occult. And they use the person. You don't know. That's why you don't trust your doctor 100 percent Trust Dr. Jesus. All of them. Amen. We start at our household. Hallelujah. We start at our household. Amen. Am I saying you should hate your household? Who said those words? Jesus said it. Jesus said it. So we should be very, very careful to deal with household witchcraft and household wickedness. Joseph's own brothers rose up against him. Cain killed his own brother Abel. 
a man's enemy shall be they of his own household. Today we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but that spirit of envy and jealousy and evil competition and hate, racism and all those things. It's a spirit that enters people who open themselves up to be used by the devil. And they begin to carry out wickedness against other people. But today, the Lord will destroy them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some of the things also witchcraft do, they use demonic food. They have satanic kitchen. They initiate people. They use all these kind of things to stagnate you, to put you down. They come, they give you injection in the dream. They do all kinds of things to tie people down, to break, you know, you know, to, 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 to break your progress. You're supposed to be, they divert your destiny. You're supposed to be going this way or this way. They will divert the person that's, that way. So that what you, you know, the shortest distance, math says the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. That's what mathematics teaches, mathematicians. But the, instead of going this way, like the devil did to the children of Israel, we make you to begin to go around cycles and get lost in the way. Say every ounce of witchcraft. Every ounce of witchcraft. I destroy your power. 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 In Jesus' name, I destroy your power. Witchcraft kitchen. Every witchcraft kitchen. Every witchcraft kitchen. Every witchcraft kitchen. Preparing food for me in the dream. In the dream. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus, catch fire. Every witchcraft kitchen that they are preparing food in the dream. Demonic food, witchcraft food, eating in the dream. See yourself drink all kinds of strange food in the dream. We command that kitchen to catch fire now in the name of Jesus. You that person that the enemy is feeding you your sleep, feeding you with witchcraft food, with poison, sickness, programming, affliction in your body, bad luck, stagnancy, chains of limitation. We command that kitchen and the food in the body, catch fire. Somebody lift up your voice. Command it to catch fire. Command it to catch fire. Command it to catch fire. What does also the enemy do? They swallow your progress. It's the dragon in the family. It's the serpent that swallow people's progress. They see the blessing coming. It's okay, don't worry. Let the angel come with the blessing. When the angel comes with the blessing, they manipulate the person and make sure they collect that blessing. The blessing does not go to the person. They swallow wedding rings. They swallow school certificates. They swallow graduation gowns. They swallow good jobs. They swallow ministry. The ministry you should have. So you are going to pray, say, every dragon power in my family. Every dragon power in my family. Swallow in my progress. Swallow in my progress. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus, every dragon power. For the Bible has given us power to tread upon the dragon. In the name of Jesus, every dragon power in my household. Somebody ought to pray. Somebody ought to pray. Don't get you poor. It is for you to pray. It is for you to pray. In the name of Jesus. Terminate my life. Every power to terminate my life. That is the ultimate they do. That is the ultimate they do. When they cannot stop you. When they've tried all kinds of things, say, let's kill her. Let's kill him. It's too much. This girl is too much for us. Ah, who is she? It's giving us too much trouble. Uh, say the also wickedness.
my household. Of my household. And of my environment. And of my environment. Every witchcraft tree. Every witchcraft tree. Of my household. Of my household. And of my environment. And of my environment. Caging the works of my hands. Caging my labor. Caging my labor. Catch fire. For my life. Every Satanic budget for my life. Like you draw budgets. Some people, the enemy budget for them sickness, mm. cancer, mm. infirmity, mm. poverty. Mm. They budget all kinds of things. Mm. Say so every satanic budget for my life. Every satanic budget for my life. <laughs> somebody else because two of you are from that same family we need to deal with some powers
divine helpers away. Every evil power. That is driving your divine helpers away from you. I beg. 